In this video, I'm going to show you a simple little pressure that you can create from the nickel triple formation that is really, really good against a five out offensive scheme, maybe from the gun bunch meta that you might be facing online. It's going to force them to have to block their running back or their tight end to be able to pick up this blitz. It's really, really simple. It doesn't require hardly any adjustments and it's it's just really really good so let's just dive into the video if you guys haven't subscribed yet be sure to do that it's completely free to subscribe i also wanted to let you know that if you have not picked up my nickel triple defense it is literally the best defense in the game for insane amount of a gap pressure you get so much a gap pressure from this formation it's in, it's crazy this defense is absolutely lethal if you want to learn my full nickel triple defensive scheme like i said it's on sale for just 15 dollars. there's a link in the description that will give you the complete ebook the complete guide um, and we are committed to updating that guide if there's anything that changes or any patches that change how the defense works now my favorite play to base out of is the tampa 2 from this and all we're going to do uh, to create pressure from this is we're simply going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to globally blitz our linebackers and we're going to QB contain. Now you do have the option of crashing your line down. I'm going to stand like right here with my user and hold left trigger. And then I'm just going to user him into coverage. So wherever I need to go cover, I'll go cover. But as you'll see right here, the snap, that time we didn't get the pressure. And that's where I say, like, you could crash your line. If you're not, if you're having any trouble getting the pressure whatsoever, then just crash your defensive line down. So, again, we're just going to uh, pinch our line, crash our line down, globally blitz our linebackers. And then, like I said, I'm going to stand kind of right here. And at the snap of the ball, as you saw, and that time we didn't get pressure either. So, let me show that one more time. I don't think I contain. Um, so, anyway, let me just show you one more time. So, again, just do this. And then you see here... We're going to QB contain. If you have any trouble, you can, again, just kind of mess with where you're standing. Uh, but for me, there you see that's the pressure. Now, what's really cool about this defense is you oftentimes actually get a disengage as well. Um, so you should get at least one free. And oftentimes, I have actually uh, oftentimes found that I'll get two people free. As you see that guy is kind of fighting, that left side guy, kind of fighting through the B gap for a disengage. So how does this defense worked against a blocked running back well let me just show you real quick so again we're just going to uh, pinch our defense crash our line down qb contain globally blitz our linebackers qb contain and then what you'll see is against a blocked running back oftentimes you're you're going to get picked up for the most part but i have found there are some instances where i will get um i will get a crazy um i'll get a crazy contain rush and you'll see right here so again just block running back C steps up and sometimes that guy will like basically shed or whatever doesn't come in but it's a great way to get pressure against five out it's super consistent like i said just pinch your defense crash your line down and then globally blitz your linebackers and QB contain that's pretty simple setup and as you see we're able to get two people free now if they delay fade their tight end let me show you what happens when they delay fade their tight end so if they delay fade their tight end from this look oh uh, whoops let me get this set up uh, sorry, I forgot to crash my line down, keep it contained, and now they're going to delay fit the tight end. Now, as you see there, it does, uh, for the most part, pick up the pressure as well. So they could pick it up one of two different directions. The other thing I would say, though, is you can actually, if you stand like right here, kind of to the left a little bit against a delay fade, uh, this sometimes can get some pressure and it doesn't get any there for me, but sometimes it can. But, but anyways, this is a simple five out blitz. That's all it is. We're just simply saying, you know what? If they're if they're going to send five out every single time, then we'll just go to this blitz. And you see here, I mean, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast pressure, pretty good pressure. Um, you can actually get this without having to move. Um, it's like if you just stand like this, you can actually sometimes get some pressure um, just like that right there. But the beauty of this, up, uh, the beauty of pinching your D-line uh, is so that you can get you know some of these looping uh, pressures off the edge as you can see right there we get that time we got that's what I'm talking about that the B gap the B gap and the A gap uh, pressure to me out of this formation is actually really really good so you see right here that time we got picked up part of this again it does all come back to where your user stands um, you know where your user stands so pinch your defense globally blitz your linebackers QB contain and then you can stand you know, maybe right in here and be able to kind of distract the lineman. I think I need to stand a little bit more to the left, but the bottom line is if you crash your line down, you don't have to worry. You're going to get pressure regardless. 
but I like just how simple this is. I like how simple I can do it. I can do it all from global adjustments. There's, it, it's just a really simple five man pressure, but I really like how simple it is, how effective it is. And it's just going to do exactly what we want it to do, right? It's going to force the opponent. He's not going to be able to send five out every time. You're going to get somebody clean. As you see right there, we get some, uh, some stun action. And I will tell you the nickel triple, what's unique about it is a lot of times you're going to get edge and some kind of gap heat whether it be edge pressure and B gap, edge pressure and A gap, edge pressure and C gap, you're gonna get edge pressure plus gap heat, which is gonna force them to have to block somebody. The pressure's gonna come in. They're gonna to have to start blocking people, and when they start blocking people, that's where we can kind of really take advantage of some of them, our other gap pressures and things like that that we have in the nickel triple defense. So if you wanna get my full nickel triple defensive ebook, like I said, it's on sale uh, for just 15 bucks. All you gotta to do to pick it up is click the link in the description of this video. Um, it's on sale for 15 bucks, so it'll take you right to the website where we can get you the guide and get you locking people up on defense.